And Susan, you're right about that. Growing calls for resignations at City Hall. The, the target of this political firestorm right now is LA, LA City Council President Nori Martinez and fellow Councilman Kevin DeLeon, all part of controversial racial slurs that they made as part of a, a secretly recorded audio of a meeting they had last October. And at the target of those racial slurs is fellow Councilman Mike Bonin, specifically Bonin's son. As you know, Bonin is a white lawmaker. His son is adopted. Son is black. And that was the center of the controversy. All of this was posted anonymously online on Reddit a little while ago, the audio clips. They've since been removed. Some of the audio clips are still on the site, Knock LA. Here's a portion of one of them. Listen to Council President Martinez. It's like the oddest thing. It's like black and brown on this flow. And then there's this, this white guy with this little black kid who's misbehaved. The kid is bouncing off the effing walls on the floor, practically tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. The audio of Council President Martinez at that meeting last October. Uh, so that has ignited the controversy. The mayor, L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti, just out a little while ago with a statement. He's reacting to all of this now. The mayor saying there is no room for racism in L.A., but the mayor stopped short of saying anything about resignations or any type of action that should be taken against the councilman involved here. For her part, Councilwoman Martinez is apologizing. Have a look at this. She came out with her apology a little while ago. Council President Martinez saying, quote, in a moment of intense frustration and anger. I let the situation get the best of me, and I hold myself accountable for these comments. For that, I am sorry. Stop quote. Another apology also coming in as we come back out live from another of the people involved in this uh, audio of the meeting, a council person, Kevin DeLeon. He is out apologizing, calling those comments in a, uh, wholly inappropriate, quote, end quote, is how council person DeLeon described all of this. So the controversy continues to build here. We're outside right near down the block from Council President Martinez home. No, no one home, no one answering the door very quiet, but there is some talk from some of the community leaders that there could be a rally or a protest and anger here outside her home in the coming hours. We'll keep you posted. For now, we're live here in Sun Valley. Susan, back to you. Developing news. Thank you, Ed. There's also reaction tonight from L.A. mayoral hopeful billionaire developer Rick Caruso. He's calling City Hall broken and dysfunctional. Caruso released a statement that reads in part, quote, this is a clear example of hypocrisy and racism and crude power politics. He calls for everyone involved that they should be held accountable. Caruso writes, Los Angeles can't have leaders who call children racial epithets and names. Caruso also writes, most of the people involved in this ugly episode have endorsed Karen Bass. He hopes Bass will do the right thing and demand their accountability and renounce the endorsement of those who used hate speech. L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti's statement says that the L.A. he loves is a welcoming and nurturing place. He writes, quote, as mayor, as a father, and as an Angelino, I am saddened by what I read. He continues, there is no place in our city family for attacks on colleagues and their loved ones, and there is no place for racism anywhere in L.A. Garcetti says everyone in our city deserves to feel safe and treated with equal respect. These words fall short of those values. Moments ago, we got this statement from Karen Bass's campaign. It reads in part, my heart goes out to the innocent child who is caught in the middle of this. You are a beautiful, brilliant boy, and you are loved. Let me be clear about what was on those tapes. Appalling anti-black racism.